everything's rolling along smooth. All right, six months in, you're introducing her to your parents, you meet her parents, right? Everything looks good. Right? She behaves well. Yeah, she has good days and bad days, but you know, you're good with it. You can work with her, right? You're forgiving. After all, you're smart, you're intelligent. You've got a good job. You see your future ahead of you. You'd like to share it with her. This vision of having a family uh, comes to mind. Your childhood, you want to relive and, and do a great job at being a dad. All these thoughts are coming to you. But you see, she's planting these ideas in your head. This idea that you have to get married and have kids is coming from your history in the back of your head. It's coming from social pressure telling you, you need this woman, you need her, look how good she is for you, look how good she makes you feel. And you try and put aside the little fights, the squabbles, how she, she's starting to tell you what to do, how you're changing the way you dress and, and your activity to suit her because she wants things. But she gives so much to you, doesn't she? Oh yeah, this is coming. The scenario I'm talking about wasn't an accident. It's coming. People can watch all these videos and figure out that in the Myers-Briggs system, I am an INTJ. It's not hard to figure out people's personality. When you do that, you can go in the back door and figure out how to be their buddy to give them what they want. A little bit of history, research on the internet will tell you who they are, where they came from. The internet is going to be a gold mine for gold diggers to know about your assets, where you live, where you work. They'll be able to look up your parents and see what your inheritance is gonna be. And at some point, inheritance is going to come into play. How much money they get. Commingling of assets. Right? This is all going to happen. If it isn't happening already, it's going to be happening to a greater degree. You see, the idea is for them to literally get their little meat hooks into you. Only it's going to be more scientific. They're going to have to be more clever about it. Because men today have had it with this system. And women are going to become better actors. They're going to have to. Right now they're on stupid 101 and they're going full speed ahead. Well, they just walk right up to you and talk to you and ask you how much money you make. And if it's not enough, they walk away. That's really cluing guys in too much. But they're gonna get more stealthy. They're gonna figure out who you are ahead of time and just bump into you at the grocery store and then meet you again. They're gonna figure out what it is ahead of time that your potential is. They're gonna know how long they have to get to you so that they can push you at the right speed. See if they've only got one year left before they're over that wall and they're done and cooked they're gonna to have to settle for something less and they don't wanna settle for less. So they're gonna figure it out. Figure it out. While I've been on this trip, I've seen a phenomenal, phenomenal amount of fucking crazy behavior by women. I've seen craziness. I've seen it exposed, th their body types, how they use them. How they get guys, right? They put their finger under their chin and just lead them around. And these guys have no idea how they're being dominated and controlled by these broads. How they're gonna be fucking owned. You know, because all they have to do is be nice. All they have to do is be nice long enough to get them to marry them and once they are married it's over the difference between 
the people I've seen, the dating couple, the engaged couple, versus the newlywed couple, <laughs> versus the people that have been married for years and they're fucking miserable. Because I'm in an area where people are coming to vacation, to hang out, to spend their money, and I'm seeing it all. I'm seeing it all. I watched from my, my seat with my son at dinner last night, we watched a couple doing a marriage wedding ceremony. Right. The people, uh, it was uh, like this really pretty scenic area. We watched it and the couple walked by the restaurant and all the women in the restaurant started clapping as the woman walked by with the groom on the sidewalk. I shit my pants practically, practically. Because I just noticed that these women were applauding. Another man has been conquered. Another girl just got her dream. And he was a handsome dude. He looked like he was, uh, uh, fuck, I don't know, 25 to 30. You know, he looked like he was pretty well put together physically. He had an uh, intelligent expression on his face. And he looked like a smart guy. And she was fat and dumpy and not very attractive. She was under attractive for this guy, right? And, and, but it was on, she's done, done, right? She can really let it go now and he's fucked. If she's not pregnant already, she's gonna be. And I could see the look on her face because they turned to walk up some steps and he turned up first and she dropped the, the glad expression from her face and it went to a scowl, right? She got him by the nuts. She just got married. And she did that, and I saw it. I fucking saw it. The gold diggers of the future are going to be able to come after you, your brothers, your sons, your nephews, right? They're gonna have the ability to research who you are ahead of time and play on us ahead of time. And they're gonna sharpen and refine their Nawalt skills. The only thing we can do is to understand why they're doing it and to understand that there is a game being played, a game of control and domination that involves lying and manipulating and using your feelings. The odds of true love, one in a thousand. You know, it's believable, it can happen. One in a thousand. Even if it was one in a hundred true love. Let's give it that, one in a hundred. Right, that's great. You go, man, I can do that. I understand true love. I've got a big heart. I want to feel that. The odds of finding it are fucking slim. Right? Slim to none. Especially with the conditioning system that's out there. The brainwashing system, the indoctrination system that women need to do this materialistic me first approach to life. Instead of putting men first and letting men take care of they want to step out in front of the man and say, that's enough, give me all your money, I'm taking over, taking control, and taking half if you try and say anything about it. Men have got to wise up. Because these women are coming at us that much harder with the internet technology that's available. Like I said, it's just gonna take a couple clever ones to figure it out. And there's clever girls right here on <clears throat> MGTOW channels clever little girls learning taking notes if they haven't already they're already figuring out that they can use the internet to find out who you are ahead of time all they have to do is see you driving a nice car snap a picture of you get your name your address from that they can figure out where you're shopping all they have to do in fact you know if I was a girl and I'm going to put this out there because it's going to happen whether I say it or someone else does. I would start a husband shopping 
investigative service. I would hunt down guys that look like they're a good deal and I would research all about them and then sell that information to other gold digging whores who want to catch a good man. Right? I would say this guy makes this much money, lives in this area, drives his car, has this job, is single, shops in these restaurants, right? I'll tell you all about them for, you know, a thousand bucks and there'll be women who will throw money at a husband finding service like this, right? It's like a, a gold mine <laughs> map with X's all over it, where to find these guys. That's where this is going to go. And as technology progresses, it's going to get faster and more efficient. And the only way to stay ahead of it as a man is to be MGTOW, to understand you don't need them. Right? Because that's the pressure. You need them. You need them. I'll cover, I'll cover some more ideas in the future about need and love and want. Right? And do you have to? Do you have to have a woman to find love? To feel love? This idea that you have to have their love.